All righty, guys. All Facts Media, I'm here. It's here. My name is Andrew Robinson. I'm joined by my twin brother, Aaron Robinson. Today we are joined by Montgomery County's finest, Jai Watuka, but uh, the newly Putnam Science Academy Mustang. So uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, man. No problem. No problem. Yes, sir. Um, first and foremost, man, you know, obviously for those who don't know, uh, me and my brother played at, in Montgomery County at Springbrook and uh, Jai was a fellow Montgomery County native, um, you know, playing at Gettysburg High School who now just recently made a jump to uh, commit to Putnam Science Academy. Um, so, I mean, Jai, first and foremost, just for people who don't know, can you kind of talk us through kind of first why you chose to make that jump to, to, to PSA? Obviously, everything's going on with the coronavirus. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, why you decided to, to make that move and then kind of what stuck out about PSA specifically um, that made you comfortable with calling that place home? Um, you know, with everything that happened with Corona and um, Montgomery County, you know, shutting down, you know, them reaching out, you know, it was it was truly a blessing. And, um, you know, it was a, it was a no-brainer to me. You know, I, I did my research on Putnam and, um, you know, I saw that they've got guys, you know, who've gone to play, you know, high major D1 and, you know, they've got guys in the league and, you know, guys who went to play pro. And, um, you know, just speaking to the coaches, you know, just understanding how important it was to me just to make the move to a school like that and, you know, understanding the access that they have basketball-wise and how much exposure that they bring to the game. So, um, you know, to me, I took it as, you know, if I want to get better, you know, if I want to keep improving, Putnam is the place to be. So, um, yeah. Now, obviously, you know, Putnam coming off a national title this year and mm -hmm. has won two in the last three years. So, you know, what are you looking to add to that program? Um, and what, do you, what are your goals coming into this next season uh, at Putnam Science Academy? Um, I'm just looking to, you know, add, you know, my share of, you know, energy, you know, leadership, um, you know, my basketball knowledge, you know, um, I'm ready to come in there and, you know, just play hard, you know, win as many games as we can, um, you know, improve, get better. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I live by hard work to get you whatever you need and whatever you want. So if I can go in there, you know, just, you know, ready to work, you know, ready to show everybody, you know, that, you know, I mean business, you know, everybody else is going to come in line and follow. So, um, you know, I'm just ready to go there and play, you know, I'm excited about the move. And, um, you know, it's just – it's a it's a new beginning for me, and, you know, I'm ready to go. Right. I mean, now you mentioned that in that, that new beginning. And taking a step back, obviously, um, you mentioned the news about Montgomery County, you know, deciding to shut it down this year as far mm -hmm. as sports. Um, just talk about, you know, when you heard the news, what your emotions were like when you first heard it, and kind of, um, you know, just what, what that meant to you and kind of your future, obviously, when you first heard it. Um, you know, when I heard it, it was disappointing, you know, and it was um, – it, it sucked. And, um, you know, it was just, it, it was very unfortunate. You know, it was, um, it was a very, it was a big letdown. You know, um, I knew the goals that I had going into the season um, that I wanted to accomplish. And, um, you know, not being able to do that, it actually really hurt me. But, you know, I had to understand that, you know, this wasn't the end for me. Um, I'd been working all quarantine and I was going to continue working. And, um, you know, that very day, you know, I got on the phone with, you know, my high school coach and, you know, he told me about everything, you know, he told me I, you know, he felt bad. And, you know, I was like, you know, yeah, coach, you know, but you got to keep moving forward. You got to keep moving on. And, um, you know, the very next day, you know, a lot of schools contacted me and putting them was one of them. And, um, you know, it just got me to realize that, you know, the journey doesn't stop here. You know, it's just, it's a minor setback for a major comeback. So, um, you know, with talking to different schools and, you know, trying to find where it was, you know, where it was the best fit you know, putting them, you know, it just happened to be that, you know, it was a place that I wanted to be. So, um, you know, that's pretty much how it all happened. Yeah. Now, being a Montgomery County kid, obviously Drew and I have experienced this, you know, growing up. There's always this stigma that Montgomery County guys are soft, that they, they, they aren't as good as other guys or other PC County or DC guys or even, you know, New York or Philly guys or whatever. So talk about the chip you might have on your shoulder going into Putnam Science Academy with guys from all across the country, um, guys who've already committed high major, um, just talk about, you know, your mentality going into a situation um, such as this. My mentality is just to go in there and, you know, work my ass off and get better. Um, if you ask me, I don't really feel like, you know, these guys are, you know, any much better than me or, you know, I, I, I don't see it that way. I just, I see it as, you know, these guys are, you know, D1 level players and I'm also a D1 level player. So I'm going to go in there and, you know, just show them how hard I work and, you know, how hard I'm willing to go. And, you know, they're all going to see that. And, um, you know, it's people's decision that's going to come off as, you know, well, you know, this guy's better than him, this guy's better than that. Now, at the end of the day, I'm just, you know, going to go in there and, you know, 
just play hard and you know work hard and you know everybody's just gonna see that for themselves. You know, I don't really I don't really tend to you know get into all what people have to say about me coming from Moco. At the end of the day, I'm a baller. I'm a hooper. You know, I'm there to play basketball. I'm there to you know get better. You know, I have a dream and an end goal for myself that I have to reach. So if you feel that you know you know I'm not as tough as you know guys who come from PG or you know wherever else around the MD area, that's on you. You know, I'm gonna prove you wrong just by playing hard on the court. That's it. Now, obviously, you were uh, you've been getting buckets in Montgomery County for a while since your freshman year, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. because of that, you were able to kind of climb the, the the scoring list, you know, in Gatesburg in the county. And I'm pretty sure this season you were on pace to break a lot of records as far as mm -hmm. scoring records in the county and the state and things mm -hmm. like that. So for you, I mean, um, how does it feel that you know you're obviously going to be moving on to Connecticut and not going to be able to kind of break some of those records and kind of put your name in the history books, you know, um, at the top? It really did suck. Uh, I was really upset that I wasn't going to be able to break the 2,000 point record and, um, you know, just, you know, have my name out there already more than it is. Uh, I just, um, it really did suck. And, um, you know, I told myself, you know, there's nothing you can do about it now. You just got to keep getting better and, you know, move forward. But I did have a lot of big goals I was looking forward to and I was ready to achieve those goals. And, um, you know, with, the, with, with Corona ruining and all of that, at the end of the day, you just, there's nothing you can do about it but move on, you know? Now, talk about, obviously, some people might not know, but G-Berg or uh, Gatesburg uh, actually has a little bit of a history, you know, the past couple of years with basketball, obviously, dating back to when we were in high school, Malcolm Miller who was with the mm -hmm. Raptors, won an NBA championship, Anthony Tark, obviously, mm -hmm. was an all-conference player in the Atlantic Sun. And then you mm -hmm. had uh, Jordan Hawkins, I'm going to say, commit to UConn yeah. the other day, and, and mm -hmm. now you um, are mm -hmm. getting ready to make a move up, up, up to Putnam Science Academy in order to mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, reach those same levels. So talk about, you know, a little bit about Gatesburg basketball and, and Montgomery County basketball and, 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 you know, what you guys got, got going over there on that, on that side of the county. I think, I think we're just hoopers, man. I think we just, we just love the game of basketball. I think, you know, we just, you know, work hard. And, um, you know, everything else just comes on its own. Um, you know, I think we're just, we're just out here, you know, taking advantage of all the opportunities that we have and, um, you know, we're taking it day by day, which is, you know, just making sure that we find the opportunities to get better. And, uh, you know, everything always comes on its own. And, you know, and I can say the same thing for me. You know, I take it day by day. I work hard. You know, I practice hard. I play hard. And, you know, people take it, you know, people recognize that. And, you know, they see, you know, the world. This, this kid, he's a, you know, he's a top player. And, um, you know, it's probably the same thing for Malcolm and Anthony and definitely it is for Jordan. So, um, you know, we're just like, we're just hoopers, bro. We're just hoopers. We go out there and we play basketball. We work hard and, you know, everything else comes on its own. Now, do you ever have a, you know, what could have been moment if Jordan stays at uh, G-Berg and, you know, you're there, obviously you're about to be senior this year. I mean, you ever think about what could have been and maybe you guys could have won state championship and, and brought that back to, to Gatorsburg? Um, I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he did what was best for him. You know what I'm saying? The move to the math area really helped him a lot. And, um, you know, whether or not he stayed or not, you know, it just, you never know. Um, you never know. Um, you know, as sophomores, you know, we were pretty close, but, you know, we fell short. But, you know, who, who knows, man? I, I, I truly don't know. Maybe we could have, maybe we couldn't. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, yeah, you never know. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. No. Earlier, you said that you have big goals for yourself on your basketball mm -hmm. career. Um, what, are, mm -hmm. what are the goals that you have set, and uh, how do you plan on reaching on reaching those goals? Well, hard work. It's that simple. Um, there's no trick to it. There's no medicine to it. There's no drug to it. It's simply hard work. It's simply wake up in the morning, get in the gym, watch your film of your games and, and get right back into it. It's a cycle. It's a never ending cycle of hard work. If you want to achieve what you want to, you know, get. And, you know, my end goal is the NBA. So if I want to go to the NBA, I got to constantly work hard and, you know, make sure that, you know, I'm at it every day. I'm in the gym every day and I'm doing whatever it takes for me to be ahead of the competition. So, you know, goals that I have for myself is, you know, just to go to Putnam, get better, you know what I'm saying? Experience everything that, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, go to college, do the same thing, and, you know, go to the NBA and keep doing that same thing. You know, I want my name to be, you know, in the book, you know, for the greats. So, um, you know, like I said, just constant hard work. That's it. 
now, um, currently, where are you at in your recruiting? Like, what, what, what schools are recruiting you? Um, what are you looking forward to? I mean, um, yeah, obviously, Putnam will obviously uh, open up a lot more opportunities as far as a recruiting standpoint. Mm -hmm. But um, where are you at right now as far as that process? Um, the process is great. Um, I usually don't tend to talk about, you know, the schools that are recruiting me a lot. It's no disrespect. It's no, you know, it's nothing like that. It's just, you know, I'm getting recruited by every school at every, you know, level, you know, high major, mid major, low major. And, you know, what I'm looking forward into a school is just a school that's going to, you know, allow me to play my style of, you know, basketball, you know, it's going to allow me to play my game, you know, as a point guard who can facilitate, you know, and get his teammates open shots and, you know, get by anybody and get to the rim. You know, I'm looking for a school that's going to, you know, help me just, you know, showcase my talents and, um, you know, just, just help me, you know, um, you know, showcase my, you know, my entire game and, um, you know, just, you know, stand by me and, you know, um, help me with my goals and, you know, help me achieve, you know, what I want to achieve, which is the NBA. So, you know, I'm just looking for a school that, you know, is just going to help me um, get better as a player, you know, on and off the court and, um, you know, it's going to invest their time and effort in me. So that's pretty much it. Now, how have you been, been trying to stay ready um, during this coronavirus pandemic? Obviously, there, for a while, the hoops are not going to be kind. They were done. I know. Mm -hmm. um, so what have you been doing to try to stay in shape, stay ready, and to get ready for your next step? Yeah, I've been running hills, man. Um, by where I live, you know, there are these nice, really steep hills. And, you know, I run them pretty much every day. Um, I go to my high school. I run around the track. I do, you know, a mile or two. And then I run up those steps. And, um, you know, and I did that every single day, and I still do it. And um, it's just to make sure that I'm in shape, I'm explosive, I'm quick, I'm fast, and um, you know I do a lot of push-ups and a lot of jump ropes. So I'm constantly working my body physically and my mind mentally just to stay strong and understand that with all this work that I'm putting in, it's only going to help me in the future. You know what I'm saying? So you know you can work your body physically and you know make it as strong and as you know as as, as hard as you know it needs to be but your mind needs to be just as strong. And, um, you know, I make sure to work on my mind. I make sure to watch my film, understanding my mistakes as a player and being able to fix that once I get back on the court. So, um, you know, that's pretty much it. All right. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. you're, you're a rising senior. Um, you're going mm -hmm. to the PSA, which will give you the unique opportunity to actually take another year postgraduate if you want to and have two more years to play. Um, is that anything that, that has crossed your mind or a possibility to maybe stay there for an extra year and develop? Absolutely not. I've been, I was asked the question, I've been asked this question before, but why would I do that? You know, um, I don't need to do that. Um, I see myself, you know, in the NBA, you know, hopefully in a year or two or three, um, you know, I want to make sure that each step that I take is closer to that goal. And I don't want to have any setbacks. I just want to keep working hard and keep moving forward. Well, hey man, I love your mindset. Obviously, coming coming from both of I love the, the the work you put in and the mindset that you have mm -hmm. toward this whole process. So, coming from two Southern Science Academy alums, two Montgomery County mm -hmm. alums, it means a lot to mm -hmm. see you know a young and like you, you know, coming and coming and following and coming into a program that, that we once played in, and definitely definitely uh, means a lot. And we know you're gonna do do great things there. So I don't know if you have anything else you want to ask you. Um, one more thing, one more thing. So mm -hmm. I want I want to you know ask you guys, man, if if our Springbrook team in 2014, you know. Me, and my brother <laughs> Isaiah Eisendorf matched up against the the Gatesburg team from this year. How do you think that game will go? You guys will probably destroy us. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I if, if you two, if you two are playing, I mean, if 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 it's our if it's our team with you know our our starters and then, you know my my man Chris is healthy. You know, we'll give y'all a run for y'all money, but I don't know, man. Y'all probably will destroy us. I've seen the film, man. I made, sure I, <laughs> I made sure to do my research when you guys texted me, and you guys were, I mean, you guys were just, you guys were out there, man. You guys were, you guys were tough. I don't know, man. I, we'll probably, yeah, you probably, you guys probably got that. You guys probably got that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you, 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 you're an honorable man. I respect it, man. I respect it, man. But, uh, no, nah, definitely like, like Aaron said, man, um, best of luck to you at PSA, man. Welcome Thank to the you. family. And, uh, Thank I know you. we'll be seeing you here on All Facts Media very soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, my man. All righty, man. Have a good one. All right, y'all. You too.